So our next presenter will be uh, Muhammad Abdul Hussein. Okay, and his uh, uh, what presenta presentation title is email spam filtering uh, using neural network. Email spam filtering user using neural network. So please welcome me, Mr. Uh, Muhammad. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I am Muhammad Madan. Um, I would like to present my um, proposal. It's about um, email spam filtering using neural network. Um, this is my agenda. Uh, introduction, literature review, problem statement, objectives, and then I will talk about the scope, um, research design, the phases that include my design, and then project timeline. Uh, of course, everybody is having email, um, uh, <clears throat> an electronic email. Electronic email is a channel of communication where everybody will talk um, electronically around the world. Um, spam is unwanted email. We have falsely received emails from unauthorized um, people, uh, which may contain malwares, viruses, trojans, and uh, phishing. Um, we have almost 80 billion spam emails are sent on daily basis. And unfortunately, 40,000 users are replying to the spam emails. And according to um, Symantec, it's a security company, um, depending on a report has been released on 2017, it indicates that 54% of the emails are spammed. Um, in literature review, uh, there are multiple um, there are multiple classification techniques that can classify the spam emails. Uh, one neural network, by nave, pies, and decision tree. Some others classifiers also it's included, but um, I have specifically selected neural network as a techniques to specify or filter the email spam. Um, I focused into classification of the emails uh, on the data sets used, whether it is UCI or some other, the training techniques, testing techniques that previous literature reviews um, use it, the algorithm that they have used, whether feed, feed forward propagation algorithm, pack for forward pack propagation algorithm, or optical pack propagation algorithm. And the result that, that classifier achieved we have a model of four uh, research papers. Um, for example, if you look into the first one, that's been Gota. He used multi-layer feedword propagation algorithm, and he focused into two experiments. One of the accuracy against hidden layers, and the other one is against number of words. That's, and the accuracy achieved on that classifier is 88.33. If you look into the accuracy, it's like 88, 87, 89, which means needs to be improved. Also, the techniques used for, for uh, the classification of uh, uh, the techniques used in neural networks, I mean the algorithms, it's feed forward propagation algorithm, a pack propagation algorithm, single hidden feedword algorithm. There are multiple. So, what I will what I have discovered is that uh, most of the literature you've reviewed used feed forward neural network approach and um, back propagation algorithm is not fully discover discoverable uh, in the spam email filtering techniques. And the accuracy results need to be improved. So I will contact a research on back propagation neural network to detect the spam filtering with minimum error rate. I have three ob uh, objectives that can be done uh, that to be implemented. I will propose a spam email system using pack propagation algorithm to improve the accuracy. 
also my experiment will be my experiment or, or environment experiment will be in AWS, Amazon, cloud-based environment. So I will, I will have um, an exam a speed of response with a different memory and CPU utilization or CPU speed. And additional to that, I will examine um, my result with naive bias classifier techniques. What is included and what is not included in my study? I will implement supervised neural network using pack propagation algorithm to test and train my classifier. I will be using only English text, so Arabic will not be included, or some other uh, uh, techniques like uh, image classifiers or image detection. I will not, uh, uh, I mean, include that. Um, my accuracy will be evaluated based on F major, precision, and recall. Uh, the proposed system will be validated with naive bias techniques. Also, I will be uh, doing my experiment using EC2 instances in AWS, which will not be included. Um, the creation of algorithm, feature of uh, creation, uh, a feature extraction algorithm. I will be taking it from uh, some other um, research papers, existing work. And additional to that, there is one component called uh, AWS Deep Learning AMIs package. Um, I may not include that in my study now, but it could be uh, used in the future uh, work. This is my research design, data collection, preparation of the data set. So the data set should be normalized, and feature of that data set should be extracted. Uh, I will apply naive bias uh, algorithm, uh, sorry, I will apply neural network algorithm using with back propagation algorithm. I will do training and then testing, apply naive bias classifier, verify, analyze the results, and generate the final report. The techniques used of or, or the approach used in my research will be a quantitative approach. So I will, I will use quantitative approach in all my phases. Uh, the development, development tools will be Python, and, and there is one compo component inside Python. It's called TensorFlow. So I'll use that one. The data set will be UCI, but I may use the, some other um, corpus later on. But in addition to UCI, uh, the data set will be in randomized. That means, uh, for example, if I have 4,000 um, uh, emails, it will be distributed among test and uh, t training, or training and, and test without any um, segregation. Uh, the accuracy result will be depending on F major precision and recall. Here is my design. The other one will be much clearer for you. Um, UCI data set will be uh, processed. We will use normalization and feature extraction. And then it will be two parts, training set and testing set. Training set and testing set will be given to, or the first step will be given to the neural network. And we will write down the result. It's not, it won't be the final result until we put testing set uh, and uh, until we put the testing set and um, we, we will um, check the achievement of neural network classifier. And then we will, we will do the same for naive bias cl the classifier. We do training and write down the design, we write down the um, um, accuracy result that we got it from the cl uh, NB classifier. And then we will generate our record accordingly. The timeline, it's eight phases. Each phase is a process, super process, subtasks are subprocesses, and I have set predecessors accordingly. Thank you.